Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Hats TV. Now today, I'm going to be talking about this goalkeeping situation which we are having at Luton. Now, at the start of the season, Nathan Jones signed Walton on loan from Brighton on a season loan. Now, Walton, during his like six months or a few months at Luton, he played really well. At the start, he was obviously a little bit nervous, trying to get into the team. Obviously, being around a new group of players is hard for you. But as every game got by, he got better and better. He saved um, a key penalty in the Notts County draw. He helped us a new, like a number of occasions. He helped us with important saves, which ended off, which ended us going on to winning games a lot. But he did a, he did a really good job. And then when he got recalled back from Brighton, a lot of fans were not happy about that because obviously Brighton at the time, I think their third choice goalkeeper got injured, and so did their second. But also, they still had a fourth-choice goalkeeper at Brighton, but they decided not to use him, but they wanted to use Walton. So, Walton obviously got recalled back, and he's gone back to Brighton. And then, what did Luton do? We signed two lone goalkeepers. One was Stuart Moore, and the other one was Matt Macy. Now, the signing of Stuart Moore was obviously a kind of like a shock to everyone, because obviously, we didn't expect Walton to get recalled back. Now, Moore came, to in, like, Moore came into the team, under 24 hours so he didn't even have training he literally he played in a youth development game the day before the game and he came in and obviously we had a bad defeat against Cheltenham now I don't do you do we blame him or do we blame the actual team itself for me I blame the team itself for that day I think you can't just blame a goalkeeper who's had under 24 hours prep like like any type of prep you know, he's just been thrown straight into a League 2 game, a really important must-win game as well at the time. And he obviously made a few mistakes, but he's going to make a few mistakes. It's most probably his first time he's before, like, it's most probably his first time he's actually played in front of a crowd over 5,000. And first time he's actually played proper professional football. So, it's obviously, he's going to find it hard. But we've already seen him play once, Stuart Moore, so... It's we can't we can't just judge him on that performance. So after the Cheltenham game, Matt Macy we signed Matt Macy on loan to the rest of the season as well. So it came out that Stuart Moore was more for the emergency signing, like a day signing, throughout the so he can play against Cheltenham. But Matt Macy was the actual proper signing which we wanted to make in the first place, but we couldn't do it in time. But anyway, Matt Macy. Um, at the start, he was a little bit like, um, what's the word, what I'm trying to use? I say he was a little bit non-experienced. He didn't have any experience playing in football. He's only played youth development football as well. So he was trying to get like trying to get into it, basically. He did make a lot of mistakes, don't get me wrong. He did make a lot of mistakes. They were due to height ones. You know, like at the moment with Luton, a lot of fans moan about when our goalkeepers don't come out and like catch the ball, dominate his area. A lot of fans moan about that because every fan wants their goalkeeper to dominate, dominate the box basically. And Matt Macy didn't really do it that well. But as every game like got, gone by, Matt Macy like kind of improved every game, so he was showing improvement. So he was improving him as a goalkeeper, and uh, but he still didn't come out and claim those like balls, like crosses, corners. He didn't come out and claim them, but. When I look back at Mark Tyler, I di he didn't really come out and claim him. But that's because the players knew about it. But because Matt Macy, being a six foot seven goalkeeper, he didn't really come out and claim any crosses, which he should have done. But Mark Tyler didn't either. So people would say that Mark Tyler was all this. Mark Tyler was a fantastic shot stopper and he saved us on many of occasions. But he didn't dominate his box like Matt, like he didn't dominate his box either. So. When people compare Mark Tyler to Matt Macy, you're kind of not comparing it right. So obviously Matt Macy having a fantastic performance. So where does this lead Craig King? Craig King went on loan to Southport. It, unfortunately, he was in a relegation battle. And now Southport were bottom of the league in the conference. So you're asking a lot from a goalkeeper who hasn't played much professional football. But he's really good goalkeeper. Nathan Jones said it in a meet the fans meeting that he does believe Craig King has the potential, but doesn't believe he's ready right now. Reason why he went on loan and the reason why we brought in two loan goals. But after yesterday's events, everything's changed yet again. Now, Craig King was recalled back. He announced it on his Twitter that he, he thanked Southport fans and the club for all the support which they have given him. 
So that looked like he was coming back. And then an article from the Daily Mail said that Matt Macy has been recalled back from Arsenal because Petacek and Ospina are injured. So Matt Macy looks like he's going to be placed on the bench just like Walton. Now, what does this lead? This leads us with Stuart Moore and Craig King. Now, at the start of the season, everyone was saying that we should have had, we should have signed a permanent goalkeeper. Now, to give Nathan Jones credit, now, no man, I don't think any manager has experienced this when he's signed two lone goalkeepers and they've both been recalled back. Now, if you look at it from like he, our perspective, Brighton and Arsenal, two big clubs. Brighton are looking to go into the Premier League. Arsenal, massive Premier League club. You wouldn't expect them to recall their goalkeepers now. You wouldn't expect it. So, as a manager and as a fan, you don't expect them types of players to get recalled. Because if you look at Wickham Wanderers, for example, they've got a goalkeeper on loan from Chelsea who still hasn't been recalled. So, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't expect it to happen, but it, we're just being really unlucky and it's happened. Will it cost us playoffs? At the moment, it has done this season. It's cost us uh, like promotion because having an unsettled back four and having a goalkeeper who hasn't played much has been costing us points. But if Walton was in goal from the start to the end, it would have been a lot different. But because it hasn't and because we've been having all these goalkeeper changes, it's been a problem. So where do we go from here? We've got Stuart Moore, we've got Craig King. Now, in my opinion, Craig King should be starting. Now, the reason why I say Craig King, Craig King has been at the club for a few seasons now. He was here at the start of the season. He was back up to Walton, you know. He was back up to Walton, all the way up until Walton left. So, Walt, so Craig King knows how the players play against each other. You know, he's played with the players. He's trained with the players more times than Stuart Moore has. So ideally, I would like Craig King because Craig King would be more confident and he's got a point to prove, Craig King. Stuart Moore doesn't have a point to prove. Craig King does because he wants to batter that out. He wants to show a message. He wants to tell Nathan Jones, look, Nathan, don't sign another goalkeeper. Give me that number one chance, which, fair enough, every time I've seen Craig King play, I think he's been really good. You know, I, I watched him in the West Brom game. He saved the penalty. I've seen him on another Trek or Trade game, which I cannot remember. But he was really good, and I did like his performances. He, he looked like he was really good. I don't know how well he was. I have I tried to tweet a Southport fan last night on Twitter, but he hasn't got back to me. But I, we don't really know much about Craig King. What, look, we've got six, seven games left. We need to stick with one goalkeeper. If you're going to play Stuart Moore, you play him from now to the end. You don't switch him and Craig King. If you're going to play Craig King, you don't switch him from now to the end. But that's what I would do. I would play Craig King in my opinion. But that's just me. But anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop down a comment down in this video saying about what you what do you think about the goalkeeper situation. I know a lot of fans are annoyed about this. And what do you think we need to do next year? Shall we sign a permanent goalkeeper? Shall we use one of our youth players? Shall we bring in another lone goalkeeper in? Shall we bring in Walton? You put a comment down in the section of this video and tell me what you think. Obviously, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. We are really close to 700 subscribers, guys. I think we, we were two away last time I checked. So, obviously, get subscribing onto the channel. Subscribe to my other channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.